Hi guys, so it has been a while since I've done a get ready with me so I thought I would do one today. I thought it was the perfect timing because Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I thought that maybe some of you guys might need some inspiration and I just kind of wanted to share how I would get ready for Valentine's Day if I had plans but um, I'm spending Valentine's Day with myself this year and I'm totally okay with that. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Sam. I live in Montreal. I love to focus on sustainable fashion, clean beauty and skincare, all of that jazz. So if that interests you, you guys should definitely hit subscribe. So normally when I get ready, I do my makeup first, then my hair and then jewelry. But um, today I'm gonna show you guys my jewelry first because I just can't hold it in. I'm just too excited. Um, Ana Luisa kindly sent me over some of their pieces and um, I thought I would do like a little unboxing and share them with you guys. I talk about Ana Luisa on my channel all the time but if you guys have never heard of them before they are a fine jewelry company based out of New York. All of their jewelry is carbon neutral, produced ethically and they only work with trusted partners who share similar values to them. This is the box that the jewelry was sent in. All of their um, jewelry is sent in packaging that is 100% recyclable and then inside all of their jewelry is sent in these cute little cotton pouches. I think that these ones are for Valentine's Day because they're red. I've never seen the red ones before. Super, super cute. These pouches are so good for when you're traveling. You can keep your jewelry tangle free and it's also good for like, I don't know, just when you're like moving or if you want to keep your jewelry separated and whatnot. So the first piece of jewelry that I went for, this is called the Regal Ring. And as you can see, there's this really cute like celestial, 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 I can't say that word, um, detail on it. I just, it was screaming my name. I feel like I don't have a lot of rings in my collection. All the rings that I do have are very like sentimental and family heirlooms and I just feel weird wearing them every day. So this is what it looks like. I just think it's really simple. The next piece of jewelry that I got is the Capella ring. So it is quite similar to the other ring. It's just like a little bit thinner compared to my other one and um, again there's like that really cute celestial details on it. I went for a size 6 in both. I was very unaware of my ring size and it only fits on my ring fingers so I might get some questions in my future um, but I think that they look really cute stacked but also I think that it will also look really nice like one on each hand. I just think that they're really cute, really simple. And these rings, I can really picture myself like never taking them off, like just wearing them every day. Lastly, I got a really cute little S necklace. I've always wanted a necklace like this. I'm pretty sure I've had one when I was a kid. And so it really reminds me of that. And so this is what it looks like. It's just on this really thin chain. And what I really like about it is that you can adjust the length of it. So as you can see, there's like a little link here and then there's one at the end. So I'm gonna put it on for the first time and see. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so dainty. Really, really beautiful. Oh, and also, I think it's gonna look really good with my other Ana Luisa jewelry. Okay, so I also went and grabbed this necklace, and I think that these are gonna pair really well together. Actually, I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter. Perfect. Oh my gosh, look, that's so cute. Really love those two together. And then also to complete my jewelry look, I'm also gonna wear these hoops. These are also from Ana Luisa. I wear these like probably 95% of the time. I absolutely love these hoops. They definitely elevate every single outfit. And there we go. So I have the S necklace um, paired with this one, my earrings and my two rings. Perfect, so that is jewelry done. Right now, Ana Luisa are having a Valentine's Day sale where you can get up to 40% off of some jewelry. So I think that this is a really good option if you guys are looking to give a gift and be a little bit more conscious. So you can find gifts for your mom, for your sister, or for yourself. You guys can click the link down below and it'll bring you guys right to the Ana Luisa website. Okay, so now let's get into the rest of the get ready with me. Now I'm gonna move on to makeup. So for foundation, I have been using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. 
Um, this is the Performance Wear Powder Foundation, and I use the color Golden Ivory. I think I should have gone for Golden Neutral. The color is like a little bit off, but it works. I just want to thank you guys for the recommendations um, in a few videos ago because I was using the Cover FX, and I'm not sure if Cover FX is like discontinued or if it's um, just not sold where I usually bought it. But yeah, I'm not too sure what happened, but a lot of you guys suggested Bare Minerals, so I was like, okay. I need to give it a try and I really really have been liking it. I've just been using this Pro Core Diffuser um, brush from Sephora and I just swirl tap and if you guys know me you know I like my makeup very very minimal. I am no expert like in the slightest. I really just focus on like covering my redness and just to make my skin a little bit more like even There we go. So just a very like light layer just kind of evens out my skin a little bit. So that is done. Next, I am using the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I got this in Germany. If you guys have been following me for a really long time, you know the story behind this. It is not great. I don't love it, but I really try and use what I already have and it's almost done, so this is probably the last time you guys will see this in one of my videos um, because like I'm just over it. It's never ending, but it's not great. It's just like a little bit too clunky. I always have to take some off. So I just put this on my top lashes. I never put it on my bottom lashes because I think the shape of my eye is like, I don't know, it just, it always smudges. Like even the top lashes smudge on my under eye, so just a very light layer. And then a new step to my makeup routine that, um, I don't know, I haven't done in a while, is a little blush. So this is the Essence My Must Haves. It's just this little blush. I honestly have no idea where I got this. Like, all of a sudden I had it and I was like, oh yeah, that. And then, I don't know, I was trying to like figure out where I got it, I have no idea. So this is just a little blush. I just use my fingers and I just pat like, a little bit above my cheekbones. I think that blush is an essential for Valentine's Day, especially this like pinky color. I think it's really, really pretty. And then I also put a little bit on my nose just to bring some color back into my cheeks. There we go. Cute. For lipstick, I'm going to be using the Lush lipstick. I have a video all about Lush makeup, so if you guys are interested, I'll leave that linked up here. Um, but this is one of their re refillable lipsticks, and this is in the color Cairo. And again, I thought that this color would be really cute for Valentine's Day. Uh, I really love the consistency, but if you want to learn more, you guys should go to my other video. But the color is just very simple, very natural. Okay, so that is it for makeup. As you can see, it's like, what, one, two, three, four steps and I'm done. But now I'm going to move on to hair. Usually in my Get Ready With Me's, I use my wand where I just like curl my hair and that's it. But I thought for Valentine's Day, I would do something a little bit fun. So I'm going to show you guys a very cool updo that I like to do. This is what I usually do on my second day like after washing my hair. Um, so I have my bamboo brush. If you guys have never used a bamboo brush before, highly recommend. I've had this for probably like four or five years and it has really been great. It is the best brush I've ever had. Um, and it keeps your hair very, very healthy as well. I'm not sure what happened, but my hair just like, it got so long. Like I saw a photo from a few months ago and it was like here and all of a sudden it is very, very long. So I'm doing this braided up to, you guys may have seen it before. So what you want to do is you want to just keep your natural part and you want to just separate your hair um, into like down the middle at the back. It doesn't have to be perfect. I actually really, I like it better when it's kind of like messy. Um, and you're just going to pull one part to the side like that. Actually, that could be cute too, like little space buns. Huh. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to braid this side all the way down, but like angling it outwards. 
I'm French braiding it, by the way. And I just washed my hair, so it's not the best for braiding, I find. Like, I, I actually prefer when it is like a little bit oily. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to take the elastic and put it here for a moment. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So this is just like French braided. Same thing over here now. This side is always like so much harder. Comment down below if you, if you think so as well. I don't know why, just like more awkward. No, <laughs> let's start that over. Great, so it's done. I actually need to get another elastic. I will be right back. Okie dokie. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this here. And now I'm going to loosen the braids a little bit. So I'm gonna start from the bottom and I'm just gonna kind of like tug on them to make them a little bit more like textured, bigger. It doesn't have to be perfect. Great, so now I'm going to take out the elastics. I'm gonna use the pink one for Valentine's Day and I'm going to wrap it into a bun. Maybe I'll show you guys how to do that. I just kind of, can you see? I just kind of grab it and go like this. There we go, a cute little Valentine's braided bun. I personally like to use a scrunchie mainly because my hair is really thin and I like that the scrunchie kind of gives it a little bit more like volume and it looks a little bit bigger. So that is my final Valentine's Day look. Um, so I have all of the jewelry from Anna Luisa, the rings, the necklaces, my earrings, and my makeup and hair is all done. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you guys like this very simple makeup look and hair do for Valentine's Day. Like I mentioned before, the link for Ana Luisa will be left in the description box down below. So we'll bring you straight to their sale. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.